we light the first Advent candle. The candle of watching and waiting, for we have searched and waited for our Savior to come to us. We light the second Advent candle. The candle of preparation, as we have prepared our hearts to receive the Savior. We light the third Advent candle, the candle of beholding and believing, because we have seen the mighty power and love of God in our lives. We light the fourth Advent candle, the candle of rejoicing, because we have been blessed with the good news of God's love for all God's people. And now the time is near. The one who will save us brings God's light into our world. We light this Christ candle in the celebration of God's most precious gift to us, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now for our call to worship. We were down in the dark. Now we glimpse a great light. Thank God we see a new day dawn. What was nothing is turning into something. Terror tried us, storms denied us. Injustice angered us, apathy discouraged us. But thank God today that we see a new, new day, day dawn. dawn. Oppression giving way to overflow. We see, we see a new, a new dawn. Day dawn. dawn. Burdens becoming blessings. We, we see a, a new day, day dawning. Sadness to salvation. We, we see, see a new, new day, day dawning. Dawn. The yoke is broke. A new day is dawning. For a Savior is born for us. Wonderful Counselor. Guide for us. Everlasting Father. Provider for us. For about 20 years, I had the opportunity to read the baby Jesus story from the book of Luke on Christmas Eve. And we had children and youth and sometimes folks a little bit older help me out with some hand puppets. We're not going to be able to do it the same way this year, uh, but I am going to read from Luke and not Matthew this year. Um, and I'm reading from the King James Version, uh, slightly revised and modified, etc. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, who was riding on a donkey. Yeah. He haw, he haw, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, the baby Jesus. <coughs> and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheep! Abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks of sheep. Bah, bah, bah. By night, as the star shone above. Twinkle, twinkle! And lo, the angel of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel, Alleluia, 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 said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby. Wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels, Alleluia, 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 were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds, Sheep, come on, watching sheep. their sheep bah, bah. said to one another, Let us go now, even into Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby bah. lying in a manger, surrounded by donkeys. Yeah. Hee-haw, hee-haw. And cows. Moo, moo, moo. And sheep. Meh, meh, meh. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at the, those things which were told them by the shepherds. Come on, sheep! Come on, sheep! Who were watching their sheep. Bah, bah, bah. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds, Come on, sheep! Come on, sheep. Return glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Thus endeth the reading of the word. Good evening, and welcome to our Christmas Eve service, December 24th, 2020. 2020. Have we heard enough about 2020? Thank God for 2021, and we hope that it will be a better year. Not only do we hope, but we know because of children of God, it will be a better year. We've learned some things, we've discovered some things, we've hurt because of some things. But on this night, this glorious night, we will stop down just for a few moments, amidst the hustle and bustle of cooking, maybe wrapping a few other presents, family gathering in into the home, maybe the weather being possibly good or indifferent, for a few moments on this glorious night, we will pause to celebrate and remember. Welcome to our Christmas Eve service. I want to 
just spend just a little short time with you after Charlie's great time for the kids and maybe see if I can just move us on into a direction of wonderful thanksgiving and rejoicing on this glorious night. I want to use as my preface for my homily, and you will hear more from Luke 2 in just a little while, but I want to use Luke 2 also. And it starts as this. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken unto Quintus, the governor of Sarah. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to Judea, in Judea, excuse me, to Judah, the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended of the house of David and the family of David. He went to register with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to our firstborn son, wrapped him in a bands of cloth, and lay him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Amen. I want to spend just a little short time with you on this oh glorious night. You see, we have a problem when we read the whole story and we hear about Mary, a young teenage girl who is betrothed to her husband-to-be Joseph and to have to break to him the news probably maybe let's just say let's just say it was a month earlier who knows it doesn't really say but she had to break the news to Joseph that she was with child can you imagine having to be Joseph possibly a man of some standing. He had a business. He was a professional. And to hear that the woman who has been betrothed to him was already carrying a child. Well, I don't believe that night was too glorious for him. And in the midst of his standing and him being a man and thinking maybe he had been betrayed, he tries to settle in for a night's sleep. Mary, on the other hand, is probably at home in her room, in her room crying her eyes out. Maybe she's had to tell her family as well besides the stand for it point of telling Joseph, you know, what would be going on? Maybe there was little, not much sleep for her that night. And as she may be in the midst of crying herself to sleep, is able to find the vision that the baby that she would be carrying is one who would change the world. Joseph, on the other hand, is probably wrestling in his sleep, upset, angry, and wondering, how do I get myself out of this mess? Who knows what things he may have said to possibly friends or, or said out loud in his own home, but 
in the midst of it all. In the midst of it all comes the word, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child she carries is God's child. And you have an important role to play in making sure that this child is brought up the right way. So instead of dismissing her quietly, he says that he will take her, that he will take her as she is, and they will be married. But in the midst of all this, they have to move back to the city of David because of the registration. And they have to make this long trek, and any of you women who have been pregnant and been at that last trimester and how you feel, there's not really too many places, many ways that you can be comfortable. Can you imagine sitting on the back of a donkey, going up and down hills through little cracks and crevices, maybe the donkey stumbling a time or two, and you're trying to ride in that type of Perdition. But the night, the night was getting dark. And as they were getting into the town, they had stopped at door after door after door, whether it had been inns or homes, but they were trying to face a place to stay. Mary, in her time of deliverance, was probably already feeling the aches and pains and, and probably being a young girl, not really knowing what she was to expect, may have either tried to hide some of that. Maybe the standpoint of the pain, she tried to snuffle down and didn't, didn't let it out loud to let Joseph know what was happening. Or maybe because she didn't know what to expect, expect and she was a young girl, Maybe she let Joseph know what was happening. And in his anguish, in his area, he is trying to find a place that he might put his bride to be somewhere where they would be safe and comfortable. But the night is still dark. And they find no place that will welcome them in. Then all of a sudden, through the miracle that is God. When the impossible is made possible, the innkeeper at one of the last places, Joseph stops and inquires, says there's a cattle stall, there's a roughed out cave, there's, there's just a slanty, that you guys could use. And there they go. And all of a sudden, in the sky, a bright, bold, beautiful light begins to show and glow of this place that the baby is to be born. This, oh, glorious night, this night that changes the relationship between man and God, this night in which we move from that of an adversary to that of a child who is lost and looking for love, that night in which grace and forgiveness is given in more bold ways than we will ever understand. That old oh, glorious night, that night in which the child was born, a child that would set us on the path to new and greater things because God was willing to give 
his only begotten son. Oh, glorious night. A night in which we should be thankful. A night that is so glorious. We all, the world round, pay homage to it. It was a glorious night. Amidst the pain, the cold, being shut out and put into a barn, a glorious night was given to all mankind for which we should all be grateful. On this night, this night when family gathers together, this night when some gifts are exchanged, this night when a meal is shared, let us remember that love came down at Christmas. And oh, what a glorious night. Chapter, it's chapter 9, verses 2 through 7 says, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We, you have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you, as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Wonderful <clears throat> authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. It came upon a midnight clear, that glorious song of old, from angels bending near the earth to touch their hearts of gold. He's on the earth. Good way. 
Psalm 96 tells us, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O God of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Listen to what Titus chapter 2 verses 11 through 14 tells us. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Oh, 
chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while, while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord showed around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him blue. And heaven and nature see. And heaven and nature see. thank you for what has been a great and glorious time together. And we've had some funny moments, and we've had some times in which Kerry is sitting there at the control, and he's waving his hand furiously, stop, stop, we're not rolling, it's not happening, you need to start all over. <laughs> and we've had Jay pointing at us and saying, you got one minute and there was only two. <laughs> We've had some good times. But as we come to a close of this year, as we move into this old glorious night, I want to wish you this. On behalf of this team that has put a worship program 
together for you to see. We want you to have a very Merry Christmas. And yes, we've had some challenges this year. One in which a pandemic has caused a great loss of life. One in which a pandemic has maybe helped us realize what family truly is. One in which we have discovered that we actually can be more resilient than what we thought we could be. We've learned how to stream. We've learned how to TikTok. We've learned how to Facebook Live. We've learned to YouTube. We've learned a number of things. But in the midst of all of this, the main thing that we need to hold true and remember on this special night is that a baby was born, one who brought love into the world, love that is ever shining, love that is ever present, love that was meant for and is given to all. So maybe the presence under the tree is not as many as they want was. Maybe there's a little bit more hurt this year than in years past. Maybe the hurt is still too fresh because the time has only been short. But just maybe, just maybe, because of the Christ child, because of the love of God, we can find some joy to celebrate and praise him one more time. I bid you good night. I bid you a Merry Christmas. And as we sing together our favorite song of Silent Night and and move towards the continued celebration. Listen to the words again and remember that Jesus Christ, our Savior, was born. Merry Christmas from all that were here, a part of the video team, to you there in our streaming land. Happy New Year. And let's make it a great year as we sing together Silent Night. Sleep in heavenly 
Sun.